Okay, I've had quite a few questions and, and uh, interest really in the, in the whole Dakar project. And um, I just wanted to give a bit more insight and detail maybe into to what it is I'm, I'm doing. So um, the original plan with OMG Racing was to go as a team with uh, mechanics and, and a truck and support and spares and a nice bed. Um, and, and unfortunately that didn't work out, but they, they are still supporting me. But um, I, I had no choice other than to, if I wanted to go, I'm going in this uh, Malay Moto class, which is now called the original class by by Motul. And basically, it's uh, I've got no support. I've, I'm going by myself with a bike, a box of tools and some spares, and a, a tent, which which they supply. Um, it, it is the hardest way of of doing the Dakar Rally, and. Um, hopefully we'll, we can get to the end that's the goal is just to finish for me I'm not there to sort of race and uh, I'm going to probably struggle a little bit at times to contain that com competitiveness and, and uh, not race the race I need to ride the race and, and get to that that finish for me a, a win will be will be the finish line so I've got to kind of refocus and 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 calibrate my riding I suppose and my control my race face I suppose but um Ultimately, as well, I need to ride the bike um, respectfully. Really look after the the bike. If I if I nail it or, or crash or override it, perhaps and rev it too much, or you know, I want to kind of preserve it, be uh, as mechanically sympathetic as I can throughout the entire race. So it's you know, I'd hate to get near the end and then fail and and, and break down because I've done something wrong or, or not looked after the bike. So. I'm going to learn so much. I'm going to meet some amazing, similar-minded people, probably um, uh, from all around the world. You know, there's competitors in that class from from all over the the world that uh, come to do this event and, and attempt to finish the the the, the race itself. So, um, yeah, I the more I know a lot of the prep I can do here before I even go in terms of wheels and choosing tires and toolkit, lots of little things. So I've the, picking the toolbox up uh an ex dakar rider who stan watts is kindly lending me his tool uh box to that the, the, they an, an 80 liter metal tool container that uh, i can take my spares and things in he's he's lending me that i'm picking that up tomorrow um i can start packing and working out exactly how much space i've got what i can and can't carry so working through a list and of, of particular tools i might need certain spares to carry me and cover me throughout the rally um there are certain tools will be available when we're there and big spares are available from a from a truck a service truck at each bivouac but um the idea is to be totally self um reliant really and and uh the more i can kind of look after myself the better it'll be and uh, super organized i'll have a kind of service strategy most days will be oil and filter air filter definitely check over spokes and so on change tires but i've got to do all that myself so it's going to be full hands-on Long days riding, get back, sort the bike, prep, uh, eat, sleep, and repeat for for two weeks. So it's going to be uh, tough, but um, I'm, I'm I'm excited, anxious, a bit nervous. Um, it's going to be exciting, interesting, very hard, uh, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm up for it, and I'll certainly give it my best best shot.